Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another autumn fashion styling video for you. I put it on my Insta stories a couple of days ago to see what are the pieces in your wardrobe that you're struggling to style and you just need some outfit ideas and inspiration and by a long shot, over the knee boots was the most popular answer. So I personally have two pairs of over the knee boots which I'll show you now and I'm gonna show you how I style them into full outfits and they're all quite different. Some are a little bit more dressed up so we're more casual so hopefully that will give you some ideas and help you style your boots as well so let's get right into it okay so the first pair I'm going to be showing you and styling up are my Stuart Weitzman Highland boots and I got the kind of I'm not sure the exact color name for this but they're like a really dark gray because I bought them at the end of last November I kind of didn't have loads and loads of time to style them so I think that this season because we're only in October now I'm gonna have much more opportunity to style these up so this this video even kind of helped me <laughs> when I was getting ready for it because it made me put together lots of outfits so you will be seeing me wear these a lot. I will link them below. I'll link the exact style that I have. Mine have the heel. You can actually get flat versions as well but I did go for the heel because I'm just more of like a heeled boot girl but obviously not all of us are the same so they do have a flat version as well so I'll link them below and just a FYI, keep an eye out for these on Black Friday because they go on sale on a lot of sites. So when it comes to Black Friday, I'll be sure to tell you about them again. But if you do want them before then, I'll leave the link below. And then the other pair of high knee boots I have are these black ones, which I love as well. So these are a little bit different in that they're a round toe. The other ones are, they're not crazy pointy, but they're definitely more of a pointed toe. And then these are round. They also have a pretty substantial heel which I like. These ones are by a brand called Charles by Charles David and I got them on a website called DSW. It's actually part of a collaboration that I did last autumn winter. I do have some photos of these on my Instagram from last year and I really like them and it just kind of makes me realize that a black pair is great too because it just goes with everything. And these are the ones I'm going to show you how I'm styling up first with this outfit number one. So these boots plus this outfit which I'll talk through now. Okay, so first up is a very me look but it's also a look that I know all of us have these particular pieces in our wardrobe. It's just a matter of putting them together. So what it is is a leather skirt which I know a lot of us do have. Um, I love a good black leather skirt. A simple plain non-printed knit on top and then to top it off a classic structured blazer and this is the kind of look that can obviously be worn with over the knee boots which you'll see me studying now when I show you everything on but honestly this could be worn with ankle boots with tights and flats like the options are endless so leather skirt plain knit structured blazer let's see how it okay, goes so outfit number one as you can see really really simple um very autumnal colors. The boots come to a really nice height just above my knee. And then plain skirt, I tucked the knit in. You could definitely have this more oversized and a bit over the skirt as well, but I personally do like it quite structured because then the blazer is a little bit more oversized and a bit of a longer length on me in terms of blazer. So yeah, really, really easy. You can recreate this in loads of different ways in your wardrobe, different color knits and different style blazers, just an absolute go-to outfit to have in mind. Okay, and then outfit number two I'm really excited to show you. I love this one and I actually just put this together kind of by chance when I was getting this video ready, but I love it now and I can't wait to wear it out, like not just in my apartment for this video. So what it is is a white shirt, which you all know I'm obsessed with, hence I'm wearing one today as well. This dress, which I hope you can see, but it's kind of like a burgundy color, like a rich burgundy. And with a dress like this, I've had it for ages. It's actually from H&M. Um, I think I have this for like three or four years. And I've worn this on nights out. And I've worn it like just kind of with flat shoes and lots of different ways. But for this time of the year, the key for dresses like this that maybe would be like your fancy dresses, but you kind of want to get more wear out of them now this time of the year, put a white shirt on inside them. And I can't wait for you to see this look on how it's really, really nice. And the white shirt just kind of like 
not casuals it down but it kind of makes it a bit more effortless if that makes sense and something like this you could wear to work you could wear this to dinner with your friends to events out and about loads and loads of options and then you'll see it as well that i put this coat on over it but obviously you can do any kind of coat um i like the bit of a print in this one and i hope you can see but there's like a little few lines of uh burgundy coming through so it brings out the burgundy in the dress so let's see this on now Okay, look number two. I was so excited to see what you think of this one. So as you can see, these boots do come off on my legs a little bit higher, but they work really well with this kind of dress because this dress is fitted. And I kind of like that there's just a little bit of skin showing. Again, the top of the outfit really balances it out. So as you can see, the shirt inside the dress, I think it turned out really, really nice. And just to give you a better look, I always try and cuff the sleeves as well. I think it just adds a bit of a style tip to it and here it is without the coat and then just to kind of top it off and especially for this time of year I think the coat is great and as I said earlier you know it really doesn't matter what kind of color coat you go with but just to give you an idea of the kind of type of outfit so fitted dress white shirt layered coat over it and you are good to go hope you like this one and then for look number three, it's definitely probably the most casual day-to-day -day weekend kind of look out of all the looks I'm showing you. And I think it's a look that a lot of you will really like and find easy to wear. So what it is, is just plain black jeans, like the ones I have on today, a chunky knit. I went for this grey one, which I had since last autumn. This one's from And Other Stories. And as well, actually, just in case I haven't said the names of everything, I'll link everything down below and I'll tell you exactly where things are from. Some of them are old, some I've had for a few years, some are new. So I'll try and get as many links to similar things and the exact things and they'll all be down below. But this is from last autumn and it's from And Other Stories. It's a really, really good one, really good quality. Quality. then the same white shirt from look number two so as I said a good white shirt you'll get so much wear out of it and then to top off this look you'll see I put this aviator jacket I'm actually gonna hang these up because this jacket is really heavy which is a good thing because it's warm but this is the aviator this is my River Island one I got this last year and oh this is the best jacket ever i think down the line my goal is to invest in the acne one i'm sure some of you are familiar it's like i think it's the brand that like started this like aviator really chunky jacket trend but they do an amazing one but until i get to that stage this is the one i have and i absolutely love it so i just popped that over this look which is really really simple really casual easy to wear and yeah you cannot go wrong so let's see this on now Okay, the coziest look ever. And this is definitely a look which some of you do ask me how to be warm but still look stylish. This is your look because having the boots over the jeans adds an extra layer of warmth and then having a shirt inside a jumper like this again adds an extra layer but it still looks really chic because you're just kind of using the sleeves as a styling tip but you're actually getting warmth as well. And then you can do any kind of jacket. I went with the aviator which I love, which is a really easy one to have in your wardrobe but you could do a longer coat as well with this kind of look. And yeah, just so simple, so easy and actually a warm outfit. And then for look number four, I haven't talked about these boots yet because I just stuck with the over the knee boots for the last three looks, but I wanted to include these boots as well. And they aren't over the knee, which you'll see now when I have them on, but I will say if you're a little bit shorter like me, so I'm 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five, like somewhere in between that. And I love my over the knee boots, but sometimes if I'm wearing a certain dress or a certain like jumper dress, sweater dress, Something that's like a tiny bit longer, say, than like a skirt or something more fitted, the over the knee boots just get lost. Like the dress comes over them. So I might as well just be wearing tights. So if you are kind of in a similar situation or if you just love this style of boot, these boots are so good. So they come to the knee and I bought these last autumn and they weren't actually as on trend back then. I feel like they've really blown up this season, this year. So I'm really glad that I have them and I love these as well. So if you aren't totally into the over the knee boot trend, I definitely recommend these. And my ones are from Steve Madden and I absolutely love them. They have like a pretty decent sized heel and then they're kind of wide. So they don't stick into my leg and I love that. They're kind of 
more slouchy a little bit different to the over the knee boots because with them you do want them to stick into your legs so they don't fall down but with these the style is to have them a little bit more baggy so I love these so for this look I wanted to include them and I wanted to show you the type of look I would wear with this style boot and oh my god I love this so let me just quickly show you and then I'll show it to you on so very very simple it is a black jumper slash sweater dress wherever you are in the world and a plain camel coat over it so simple but so effective and so chic and it looks really really nice with this style of boot so if you do have those sweater dresses or just kind of longer dresses that are a little bit looser this style of boot is great so let me show you this on okay and then look number four i actually think this maybe my favorite not gonna lie i just think that this is the kind of look that i could wear every single day and be totally fine with it okay so plain black dress this is also from and other stories i got this last autumn and oh my god i've worn it so so much it's like a thin material just great to go with everything and then as i explained the reason that these boots work well is because this dress is much looser so it kind of comes down further and then these boots just come to the right height to go with it and they're definitely definitely slouchier than the other ones but they're so so comfy and I just love the whole vibe that they give and then to style it I put some sunglasses on <laughs> because more likely than that I wear sunglasses with like every outfit that I wear and then a plain camel jacket on top and I like that this is a little bit longer as well it just gives kind of that chic effortless look even though I definitely made an effort and that's it guys four outfit ideas for you hopefully you found that helpful if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you if you liked this video be sure to give it a thumbs up I'm really really enjoying doing these kind of autumn fashion styling videos like you've probably noticed it's definitely the season that I just love to dress for and as a result I'm trying to do as many videos as possible so if you do have any other ideas for videos let me know in the comments below I know workwear was a very popular suggestion when I asked the question so if you do want workwear comment below and let me know and I will leave it here for today so thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye